Alif Lam Ra. تلك آيات الكتاب المبين. أحمده ونصلي على رسوله الكريم. أما بعد قال الله تعالى في شأن حبيبه إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي. يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما الصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم. Welcome to the program Miftah al Quran, and of course we continue with Surah Al Maida, and that is Part D, Chapter Five is called Surah Al Maida, and Verse Fifteen onwards. Auz billahi min al Shaytan al Rajim. I seek refuge in Allah from Satan the Accursed. Bismillahi r Rahman r Rahim. I begin in the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful. يا أهل الكتاب قد جاءكم رسولنا يا أهل قد كتاب يا قد جاءكم رسولنا يا أهل الكتاب قد جاءكم رسولنا يا أهل now we have said that يا is a vocative o you see يا is o when you address someone يا ولد o boy أهل means people Or family, ahl, like ahl bait, family of the house, household people. Ya ahl, ya o people. Now you notice that the ya ahl al kitab, ahl al kitab is a nidafa construction. Al kitab is of that is of a straightforward genitive, and al is the right. And we know kitab. You can say the holy writ, the book, the scripture, whatever you want to. Now you see when you see ahl al kitab, right? You may be wondering why that is a fatha there. The fatha is there. This is an idafa construction. When the idafa construction, you have the ya, so the first part will go into that accusative case. You cannot say ya ahl al kitab. You have to say like ya rasul Allah, ya rasul. Lalla ya wala dal baiti wala dal. So the person that that you are addressing, right, will go in the accusative. That is the law of the idafa when it is preceded by ya. Ahl al kitab, O people of the book. We know people of the book are the Jews, Jews, Christians, all those who have been given the scripture. Qad verily. Now you see this word qad. It may be some people may say definitely, surely, but we have been keeping to this one. So we have to learn less vocabulary. Jaa kum, jaa, he has come. Jaa past tense, right? Kum to you, meaning Allah is addressing the people of the book. He says, Ya pi o people of the book, he has come. You say he has come. So you ask the question, who has come? You are going to get the subject of the sentence, and the subject of the sentence is the dhamma. The sign of the subject is a dhamma, which means that that is in the nominative case, Rasulu, messenger, na our messenger. You see, Rasuluna. So here it is. Ya ahl al kitabi, qad ja akum Rasuluna. O people of the book, verily, our messenger has come to you. You bayyinu lakum kathira mimma kundum tuhfuna min al kitabi, wa yafu. An kathirin, you buy you know, lakum kathiram, mima kuntum, tuhfuna min al kitabi, wa yafu an dikrin. Now you see, you buy you know, you see buy ya na you buy you know is a is a second form verb like kadara you kadiru, right? Bashara you bashiru, right? Where the central, the, the the medial letter, like here in this, takes the shadda. Bayyana you bayinu. He expounds, expounds. He makes clear, right? He will distinguish like bayyana you bayinu, right? So here it is. You see that is a third person singular. You you means he. He expounds. That is the messenger expounds. Lakum. La, of course, being a preposition, kum is you, lakum to you, 
O people of the book, Kathiran much, Kathiran much expounds, you ask a question, what? Expounds how? Or what? You get the answer here, Kathiran, right? Much, Mimma. Now this Mimma is made up of two, it mean, it is min plus ma. Do you notice that? It is min plus ma, so we make it mim ma together. Of that what? Mim ma. Of that what? Kuntum you were. Kana he was. Kuntum tum means, this tum means you. You were. Tukhfuna. Khafa ya khufu. Tukhfu. Akhfa yukhfu. Fourth form verse. Right. Means, you see the ta. Ta means you. Is singular, but the moment you have added that wow alif there, that wow alif has made it a plural, so it means you, plural meaning Allah is addressing, plural because he's addressing the people of the book, he cannot say singular, he got to use it in plural, tukhfu, you, you conceal or you hide, min of al. Now you notice min, I was saying min, that is min. But the moment you're going to join it, you join it to Al, so that mean, mean will become Mina. Of Al Kitabi, of course, Da is, Al is Da, and that Kasra is of, of the book. What you hide of the book, meaning their scripture, the Torah and the Injil and whatever they had, Allah is telling them, Wa and Ya'fu An. Right, Ya'fu An means, he passes over, you see, Allah's Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he's going to pass over some of the rules that were given to the Yahud and the Nasara. Kathiran min, kathiran min much. So here it is. Yubayinu lakum kathiran mimma kuntum tukhfuna min al-kitabi. That is, Allah's Nabi has come, Allah says, to the Jews in Medina, that, O oh, people of the book, here comes my, my, my messenger, and he's going to expound, he's going to make clear to you much of that what you used to conceal of the book. In other words, there are certain parts of the book they used to conceal, they used to hide from the Nabi, Wayafu and Kathirin, while he passes over, like there are some parts of the Quran, we know, of, of the old scripture that have been abrogated, like, so for instance, the Sabbath law, right? Not 24 hours became only the Juma. In the same way, there are so many other things which have been what you call uh, abrogated, meaning nasikh mansukh. So you buy, you know. Now, qad ja'akum min Allahi nuru wa kitabu mubin. So here, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that the coming of the Nabi with the book, qad verily ja'akum min Allahi nuru wa kitabu mubin. Qad verily. Right, verily, now Allah is telling us, first of all, He's telling to the people of the book, Ya Ahl al-Kitab, my Nabi has come, He's come to make clear and expound certain things, and things what you were hiding, and things that He's going to abrogate. And second thing is, verily, Qad ja'akum, ja'a has come. Ja'a has come. It has come. Now, not He, it has come. Kum means to you. It has come to you. What has come to you? Min, of course, as I told you, it is min, but because you are going to join it, we make that fatha, that sukun becomes a fatha, min Allahi, from Allah. You see, min is a preposition. Allah is in the genitive case. Nurun, now you see, you ask, you ask, it has come. So you ask, what has come? You ask, what has come, you are going to get a subject that is the nominative case as your answer, Nurun. Can you see? Nur has come, a light. That is a subject of the sentence and you know, at all time, the sign of the subject of the sentence is the Dhamma, whether it is one Dhamma, as we say, one pesh or double pesh. One Dhamma or, or double Dhamma, some people say Dhamma Tan, right, a light. We, why do you say a light? because it is indefinite article. If it was Al, then we would have said the Nur. Right. Wa and what has come? You ask what has come also? Kitabun. Can you see that's a subject of the sentence again, but indefinite article, a book. Mubin, what is Mubin? 
Mubin is clear, manifest, open, right, without uh, transparent, you can even say, look at Kitabu Mubin. What does it show you here? It shows you the concord. Concord meaning this is double damade, double damade. Kitab is masculine, Mubin is masculine. Why it is masculine? Because it does not have a feminine ta. And both are is in a nominative case and singular. You see, there's a complete concord, what we call they are identical twins in so far as the grammar is concerned. Verily, a light and a clear book has come to you from Allah. Now, you know the light, when Allah talks about the light, what is the light? Every scripture in the Quran is called light. Even the gospel is called light, the Injil. The Torah is called light. All the scriptures is called light. Wa and kitabu mubin, a clear book. And of course, we'll have a short break. And inshallah, after a short break, we shall continue. And be reminded that you are watching ITV's program, Miftahul Quran. Alif Lam Ram. Tilka ayatul kitab al Alif Lam Ram. Tilka ayatul kitab al Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We are back with the program Miftahul Quran and of course you are watching ITV and just before the break we had done this verse here Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Qad ja'akum min Allah nuru wa kitabu mubin verily a light and a clear book has come to you from Allah now Allah calls the Quran a nur that is it is a light like for instance as I just told you before the break that all scriptures Allah called the Torah the Injil everything Allah calls it light and Kitabu Mubin is a title of the Quran means it is a clear book right it is clear open transparent there's no ambiguity Allah says if it was from anyone other than Allah you would have found much ambiguity contradictions in it so that is what Allah is trying to now look at that law that law shows that the sentence is not complete. Allah has more to say about this. What he says, Yahdi bihi Allahu manitaba aridwanahu subul as salam. Yahdi bihi Allahu manitaba aridwanahu subul as salam. So, what Allah is going to do with this book? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Yahdi. Yahdi means he is going to guide. He is going to guide. Yahdi means to guide. Guide which way is Allah going to guide? It means He's going to guide you by saying you that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to show you the straight path. Yahdi ye. Hada Yahdi. Ya is He. Who is going to guide you? He. What that He means? He means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to guide you through this to tell you that, that as far as He is concerned, your, your path is set. And it is set in such a way that you have no fear to be misguided by this wonderful book so which Allah is going to guide you. Yahdi, right, bihi. What is bi means through. Through or by it. By this, this Quran or by this book which Allah has yahdi, through it. You see that he actually is him in Arabic. But because Arabic does not have a, have a neuter gender, it says hit, it. But we know we've got to reduce it and accommodate the English language. So we say, through it, Allah, who is going to guide? Yahdi, who is going to guide? Ask a question, who? In front of the verb, so you are going to get the subject of the sentence. Yahdi, Allah, Allah is going to guide you. Min, all right, man. What is this man? That is man. Now you see, this is not min. Notice this is not min, this is man. Now, when any word comes with a sukun, what is the law? That sukun is transferred into a kasra. You see what has happened here? Right, man, you see, is joining to this itta, manitaba'a. Whoever he follows, ittaba'a means to follow. To follow in which way? Follow what? You ask a question, what? You are going to get the object of the sentence, and the sign of the object is a fatha, ridwana. Who? 
his pleasure. You know this Ridwana in Indian language, we say Razi. We make the dot into a Z, Ridwa, Nahu, right, his pleasure. Subula, guide him where? You see, guide him where? Right, to the path. This is an accusative case to, to express adverb of place. You say, where? Where will you guide you? To the path. You see, Allah puts in the accusative case to show you adverb of place. Place means you ask a question, where? As-salami, of course, subulas, subulas salami is a genitive idafa construction, and here we find the al is there. Right, al. Now, the moment you say al, we know the, and that kasra means of, of the peace. So what Allah is trying to tell us, that if you follow this nur that Allah has sent, qajjakum min Allahi nuru wa kitabu mubin, the nur and the kitab and a clear, manifest, transparent book has come. If you Allah guides through it, manitaba ridwana hu subula salam. Whoever follows His pleasure, that is a pleasure of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, to the path of peace. In other words, if you do not follow Allah, you are not going to get guidance. It's as simple as that. So guidance will come if you put in an effort, and Allah will give you that guidance. Wa يُخْرِجُهُمْ مِنَ الظُّلُمَاتِ إِلَى النُّورِ بِإِذْنِهِ وَيَهْدِيهِمْ إِلَى سِرَاتِ مُسْتَقِيمِ Also what Allah is. Remember that la, la means no. These are the things that follows. وَيُخْرِجُهُمْ مِنْ الظُّلُمَاتِ إِلَى النُّورِ بِإِذْنِهِ وَيَهْدِيهِمْ إِلَى سِرَاتِ مُسْتَقِيمِ Wa and we have done this so many times. Yukhrijuhum. Now, yukhrijuhum is a fourth form verb. Is, I'm writing it in the Roman noodles. It's a fourth form verb. What do you mean by fourth form? Akhraja yukhriju. Kharaja means to go out. Kharaja means to go out. But the moment, this is the beauty of the Arabic language. The moment you put it in another form, you put it into the form of form four. Akhraja yukhriju ikhrajun means I take you out. I take you out. And what is the word in English for take you out? Remove. Can you see how the word to go out becomes removed from a simple trilateral? You put it in the fourth form. Akhraja yukhriju. Yukhriju. Right. He will remove. He will remove. Whom? Them. Whom is them? Allah will remove them. Min, of course, from, and we know that min is become a fatha. Why? Because it is joined from the zulumat. Mina zulumati, from the darknesses. Of course, al is the. Now you notice the Arabic word for darkness in singular is zulmah. Zulumat is plural. Whenever Allah talks about darknesses, He always uses that in a plural. Ila tu an nur. Al is the, an nur is the light. Light is always singular. Why? Because the Torah, Zubur, Injil, Quran, all the scriptures are one single light from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There are not many lights. It's all the same. B is nihi. B is by, through. Isn't, what is isn't is permission or leave. Permission or leave. He is, of course, his. Now, B being a preposition, you see, B is a preposition. Therefore, isni is in a genitive case. Be isni he by his leave. Wa and yahdi him. Hada yahdi. Yahdi is he guides. Yahdi is he. He guides them. He guides them. Ila tu siratin. Notice the sirat is in a genitive case because of ilah. Allah will govern the noun in the genitive case and it is indefinite A because it's a double tanwin, it's a double vowel. Wherever you have a double vowel in a singular verse, in singular noun, it always goes into A or N. Mustaqimin is straight, straight, not crooked. Now look at, right, wa yukhrijuhum mina zulumati ila nuri bi iznihi. Then if you follow Allah's teaching, 
which Allah says he sent kajaku min Allah nurun wa kitabun mubin the light and a clear manifest apparent book has come transparent book the third benefit is and he removes you or he shall even in the future remove them from the darknesses why Allah use the darknesses there are so many darknesses that is wrong ideology anti quranic belief maybe many therefore allah always uses the word zulumat not zulma to the light light is singular as i said all wahi whether it is past present is all called light nur by his leave mean by his permission wa yahdihim ila sirati mustaqim wa and he shall guide you or guides them right guides them ila sirati mustaqim i want you to notice sirati mustaqim do you notice here yeah. There's complete concord between the two. Sirati mustaqim. Sirat is in the genitive case here, double fatha, and there's double fatha, and both are singular, both are masculine. There's complete concord. So let us go. Lakat kafar al lazina kalu inna Allah hu al masih ibn Maryam. Lakat kafar al lazina kalu inna Allah hu. Al Masihu Ibn Maryam. Laqad. La, of course, is indeed. Qad, verily. Indeed, verily. Kafara. Kafara. Now, you see, a verbal sentence always starts, the verb starts in the singular. A verbal sentence, the verb always starts in the singular. And according to the subject, you are going to say whether it is singular, dual, or plural. Now, I know. Why did I use they? That kafara means he, but why did I use they? Because the verbal sentence, and I say Allah zina those who. You see, this is in the plural already. Therefore, I translate that kafara as they. This is a verbal sentence. That is a sentence in Arabic that starts with a verb. is called jumla fa'liya. That is uh, verbal sentence. Allah zina those who. Qalu qala. He said, but wow, alif. Wow, Ali makes it. They say those who say, "Inna surely." Now you know this. Inna is noon with the tashdid there, and what he's going to do is going to govern the word in the accusative case. Therefore, Allah is in the accusative case. Inna Allah, whoa, He is Al Masihu. Al Masih means the Messiah, right? Al is the, of course, and. Uh, been just informed that we go for a break and inshallah after a short break we shall continue with this verse about uh, al masih and uh, you are watching miftahul quran on itv and inshallah after a short break we shall continue alif lam ra tilka ayatul kitab al mubin alif lam ra tilka ayatul kitab al mubin assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh welcome back to the program miftahul quran and of course you are tuned in to itv and let's take this verse this verse all over again from the beginning bismillahir rahmanir rahim laqad la is indeed verily or kafara as i told you just before the break because i know there's a plural that is coming therefore i translate this as a day but kafara means singular all verbal sentences the verb is in the singular and the subject is going to decide whether it is singular or plural but i know allah zina already is in a the plural therefore i have used they and not he right those who qalu qala he said qalu wa alif is plural they say inna surely and because of inna that is in the accusative case inna inna huwa right that is inna allah huwa he is al masih al is the masih messiah ibnu the son of the son maryama now you know this maryama is as i said words of jewish origin right always they they have in a fatha both the cases the accusative case is when you express the fatha you got accusative and genitive so we i say this is genitive 
they will say of Maryam. So Ibn Maryam is the son of Maryam. Lakat kafar al lazina qalu inna Allah huwa al Masih ibn Maryam. Indeed, verily they have disbelieved and they have rejected faith. In other words, those who say surely Allah, Allah the divine being, He is the Messiah, that is the Christ, the son of Maryam. So in other words, Allah is telling those who say who take a Nabi Isa as a son, as a God. In other words, قُلْ فَمَنْ يَمْلِكُ مِنَ اللَّهِ شَيْئًا قُلْ say, فَمَنْ يَمْلِكُ مِنْ اللَّهِ شَيْئًا Now Allah is trying to tell you why. He is the one that is God, not Nabi Isa, not Jesus. is not God according to Islam. He is a major, major prophet, a very senior prophet. Kul, say, O oh my beloved Muhammad, say to the people, Faman, then, Fa is of course, then who, Faman who, Yamliku, have the power, he will have Malika. You see that word Malika means to control. You see the word Mulk, Malik, all comes from the same root, Malika, he will have power. He will have power, mean against. Now we know this is min, but because he's going to join there, min Allahi against Allah. You see this min, according to context, it is translated as against. It's one of the shades of the meaning that min can have. Min Allahi, genitive because of min, shay'an in ought. In other words, Allah is trying to say, you see, I am Allah, I am one, I am God. You can call him by any, you can call him by any name, you can say, Allah is Allah, he is God, he is the here in Kulum Kulu, Modimo. Right, you can call him by any other name. He is still, we say Allah, meaning he is one and only indivisible divine being. In Arada, an yuhlik al Masih ibn Maryam wa ummuhu wa man fil ardi jami'an. Right, it's Allah is trying in Arada, an yuhlika al Masih ibn Maryam. Wa ummuhu wa man fil ardi jami'an. So Allah says in, if, he says who is going to have power? What Allah said, who can control him? He is the power, he is the owner, he is everything, he is Malik. So Allah is asking, who can control him? Who can stop him? If arada he wishes or if he desires and that yuhlika he destroys. Right, ahalaka, halaka means to destroy yourself, but if you, to, 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 to harm yourself. But ahlaka, yuhliku, fourth form verb means to destroy, to harm others, to destroy others, to, to, to annihilate others. You say ahlaka, yuhliku, to destroy. He destroys al Masih. Al is, of course, the Masih is Messiah. Ibn, that is the son. Maryam, as I said, it is a deep thought of Maryam. Wa and Ummuhu and his mother. Right, now you notice this is the object here, accusative. Right, and this Mar Ibna is also in accusative because Yahlika, he destroys. Whom? As a question, who or whom? After the verb, you are going to get the object of the sentence. Al Masiha is in the object. Right. Ibn is in the object. Maryam, of course, is genitive. Wa ummahu, you notice, mother. Ummahu, his mother. Wa and man, whoever or those who are fi is in. Al ardi al is the. Ardi is earth. Now, because of fi, ardi is in the genitive case. So Allah is challenging Jamia altogether. Allah is challenging that Allah says, I am the Allah creator, I am the divine being. And my beloved Masih Isa ibn Maryam, he is my major prophet. And if I got so much power, and if I want to destroy in Arada an Yuhlikal Masih ibn Maryam, if he wishes that he destroy the Messiah, the son of Maryam, wa ummuhu and his mother, wa manfil ardi, and those who are in, in whoever is in the earth, Jami and all together, Allah can destroy to prove that He is Allah, He is the divine being, not anyone else. Walillahi mulku samawati wal ardi wa ma bainahuma yahluku ma yashau wallahu ala kulli shayin qadir wa 
lillahi mulku as-samawati wa al-ardi wa ma bainahuma yakhluku ma yasha'u wa allahu ala kulli shay'in qadir you notice word by word here now let's see as allah is saying now if i want to destroy who's going to stop me i am allah second thing allah is saying he is the divine being because wa and lillahi what is li li means to be something that lu li he has or to belong so lillahi to allah belong you can some people say to allah but the proper rendering is to plus belong allah is li preposition allah is in the genitive case mulk what is mulk the dominion so you ask what belongs what belongs first of all mulk can you see mulk is the subject of the sentence the dominion as samawati al is of course the of is a genitive case here is a he, he, this is actually a feminine plural the plural stretches all that way is a plural all that is plural feminine plural those who know it can follow that of the firmaments wa and al ardi al is of course the earth is earth does it remind you of the african word earth right earth wa and ma whatever or whatsoever is baina huma what is baina baina means between baina between baina between huma is dual huma is whom is them who is him but huma is dual them too right huma yakhluku he created ya is khalaqa yakhluku is a simple triliteral verb like nasara yansuru kataba yaktubu khalaqa yakhluku he created or he creates ma whatever yashau yashau means he desires he likes or he wills whatever he wills right according to his law not just haphazardly because allah says i have got set rules la tabdila li kalimati la he creates he does everything according to set pattern he just don't do everything something today something tomorrow and leading to confusion wa and wallahu and allah is wallahu ala over ala is over preposition therefore kulli is in the genitive case here every shay in everything everything you know this kulli kulli is kulli shay in kulli followed by singular you see we are going to say this as every but if it is followed by a plural if it's a kullu ashay then we we'll use the word all all things Shayin qadirun is a nominal sentence which will give you is and are is potent is powerful right so here we say walillahi mulkus samawati wal ardi wa ma bainahuma and to allah belong the dominion of the fundament firmaments now a lot of people will translate this samawat samawat as heavens i refrain from doing that because it can lead to confusion the right word is firmaments and the earth and whatever is in between them both that is between the earth and the whole creation of allah yakhluku ma yasha'u he creates whatever he wills but as i said according to his plans not just haphazardly wallahu ala kulli shay'in qadir and allah is potent powerful over everything allah is telling you now don't tell me i am not god and somebody else is sharing my divinity I am the boss I can do as I want to and of course we'll have a short break and after the short break we shall carry on inshallah you are watching ITV's program Miftahul Quran Alif Lam Ra Tilka ayatul kitabil mubin Alif Lam Ra Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh and welcome to Miftahul Quran and as you know you are watching ITV 
And just before the break, we completed the last sentence. Now we continue with our new, and we are actually discussing verses from Surah Al-Ma'idah, that is the fifth chapter of the Quran. And this is the fourth session of this particular lesson, that is lesson D5, and note that all the lessons dealing with the Surah Ma'idah are num numbered as D1, 2, 3, 4. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Wakalatilya, Wakalatilya Hudu, Wan Nasara, Nahnu Abna Ullahi, Wa Ahiba Uhu, Wa Kalati Al Yahudu, Wa An Nasara, Nahnu Abna Ullahi, Wa Ahiba Uhu. Now you see in the time of the Prophet, the Jews and the Christians, the people of the book days to come, we are special people, you people are nothing. In other words, on a racial basis, wa and qala. Qala, he said. Right. Qalat. What is qalat? You notice it's actually a sukun here yeah, because it is joined. This qalat has become qalatin. You see the sukun has become. So what is that she? She. When do we use she? We always say she when it is plural. It is a non human plural. It's not a personal plural dealing with people. It is a plural dealing with nation, tribes, right? Any other plural Allah says, use the word she says. So because it is plural and we change it to they. So we ask the question, who said? Ask the question, who said? We are going to get the answer, al Yahudu. You see the nominative case, the Jews. Al is of course the Al Yahudu, the Jew, Wa, and An Nasara, the Christians. Why the Jews, Christians, people of Nazarite? Can you see? There's two reasons why the Christians are called Nasara in Arabic. First of all, because they come from Nazarites, or a second reason is when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks them, Isqal al Hawala Isa ibn Maryam. Then when Isa ibn Maryam said to the Hawariyun, to his disciples, Man ansari ilallah, who are the helpers of Allah? They immediately said, Nahnu ansarullah, we are the helpers of Allah. There's two reasons why Christians are called Nasara. Nahnu, we actually, we are. Abna'u, what is abna? Ibnun is plural. Right, Ibnun is singular. Abna'un, the children. Abna'un, the sons or the children. Allahi, Abna'u, Abna'u Lahi, the children of Allah. It's a, what do you call the idafa genitive construction. Wa and Ahibba Uhu, his, right, who is his? That is Allah's, Ahibba is plural of Habib, the beloved ones, people that you love. Wa qalatil Yahudu wa Nasara, and the Jews and the Christians say, Nahnu abna'ullahi wa ahibba'uhu. We are the children of Allah and his beloved ones. So in other words, you come in a boast. He says, you know, we are not like you people. You are not, you know, especially in the time of uh, the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa the Jews and the Christians used to come and say the Arabs. He says, we are the chosen people. We are the children and the beloved of Allah. So what does Allah say? Qul. Falima yu azibukum bizunu bikum. Kul. Falima yu azibukum bizunu bikum. Kul. Say. Say. Allah is asking, telling his Nabi. Allah is telling the Nabi Muhammad, Kul, O Muhammad, say to them or ask them. Falima. What is fa is then. Lima, why? Lima, why? Falima, then why? Yu azibukum. From third, uh, is, this is actually. A second person verb, azaba yu azibu. Yu azibu, what is ya is he, right? We know that yu azibu, he will punish or he punishes. You can take it as both, is imperfect, means present and future in one. Yu azibu kum, you. He will punish you or he punishes you. B is for. For. B is for, or you can say on a bigger sentence, because of. On account of Zunub, what is Zunub? Zunub is the plural of Zanbun, Zanbun. Zunub, B, B is a preposition. Zunub is in a genitive case. Be Zunub, be kum, for your sins. So Allah is telling the Nabi, 
say or ask these people, ask this Yahud and Nasara, Falima yukazibikum bizunubikum. Then why does he punish you or will punish you for your sins? If you are the chosen one, you are his children, you are his beloved ones. So why is Allah is going to treat you in the same way as he treats others? Bal antum basharum mimman khalaka yakfiru li man yasha'u wa yu'adzibu man yasha'u. Bal, bal antum basharum mimman khalaka yakfiru li man yasha'u wa yu'adzibu man yasha'u. So Allah says, you can't just say that I am the special one. But first question is, why will Allah punish you if you do The second one, bal, nay, but. Antum, you are basharun, mortals. Allah is telling the Jews and the Christians and the whole world, there's no special person, whether you are a high-class Arab or anybody, you are an African, Chinese, Portuguese, whoever you are. Allah says there's nothing special about you. You are bashar, you are human beings. Mimman, from among those. You see, min, this is min. How it become mean? That is mean. Right. Mean. Mean man. From among those whom Yahalaka he created. So in other words, you are all Allah's creation. There is no discrimination to say Allah is going to treat anybody because you are a Jew, because you are a white, because you are a black, Allah is going to do any favor to you. No, everybody is equal in the eyes of Allah. Yahfiru, he grants forgiveness. From Ghafara, he forgave, but Yaqfiru, he grants forgiveness, right? Li is two or four, to whomever, li man yasha'u, sha'a yasha'u, sha'a means he wills, he desires, he wishes, but he wills, he is yasha, ya is he. Yasha'u wa yu'azzibu, azzaba yu'azzibu, azzaba means to chastise, to punish, to penalize, you azibu, man whoever or whomever, he yashaw, he wills. Right, sha'a yashaw, he wills. So here Allah says, but, bal antum basharum mimman khalaka. Nay, you are a Jew, you are a Christian, you are Muslim, whoever you are. Allah says, but you are human beings from among those he created equally. Yaqfiru li man yashaw. He grants forgiveness to whomever he wills and he chastises whomever he wills. In other words, according to your deeds, Allah is going to treat you, not according to your race. وَلِلَّهِ مُلْكُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَمَا بَيْنَهُمَا وَإِلَيْهِ الْمَصِيرِ We have done this in a similar contraction. وَلِلَّهِ مُلْكُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَمَا بَيْنَهُمَا Right, so yet this is لِلَّهِ Let's take wa and lillahi. Li is two or four. Right, two belong. Lillahi, to Allah belong. To Allah belong what? What you ask the question in front of the verb, you are going to get the subject of the sentence. You again, mulk, nominative case or the subject, the dominion or the sovereignty or the kingdom. Take whatever you want. As samawati, it is the Genitive case, feminine, plural, those who know it, of the firmaments. Wa and al, of course, is the, that is, genitive of the earth. Wa and ma, whatever is in bainahuma. You see, we did this already in the previous verse. Baina is between, huma is them two, meaning them both between the earth and the firmaments. So, wa and ilahi, ilah is of course you. Now, how you write that ilah is written like this. You see, ilah, ilah, ilah. Ilahi unto him, al masir, al is the, the return. Right? So, here it is. Allah says, I am the boss, I am the king, I am the divine being, I am God, Allah, Hira, Bhagwan, whatever you can call him. Right? وَلِلَّهِ مُلْكُ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضِ وَمَا بَيْنَهُمَا And unto Allah belong the dominion of the firmaments and the earth and whatever is between them both. وَإِلَيْهِ الْمَصِيرِ And unto him 
is the return. So don't take anybody as God. Allah is God, He is Wahid, He is Ahad, He is indivisible one. Ya Ahl al Kitab, Qad ja'akum Rasuluna yubayinu lakum ala fatrati min al Rusuli. Ya Ahl al Kitab, Qad ja'akum Rasuluna yubayinu lakum ala fatrati min al Rusuli. Now he says, Ya, what is Ya? We have done this before. Ya is a vocative harf e nida. O oh, people, now I told you. In a genitive construction, the first part will go in the accusative case. Ya ahla al kitabi of the book. Allah is speaking to the people who got the scriptures, the Jews, the Christians, and everybody else. Kad verily ja a, he has come kum to you. Ja a kum, who has come? As a question, who? In front of the verb, you are going to get the subject of the sentence. As a sign of the subject of the sentence is a dhamma. Our messenger has come, Rasuluna. Rasul, our messenger has come. You buy you know, buy you know. You buy you know means to clear, to dis make distinction. He makes distinction. He makes clear. He makes transparent. He expounds. Lakum to you, Allah after fatratin a cessation meaning a stop. You notice from the time of Nabi Isa to the Prophet Muhammad was 570 years. So Allah is saying after that 600 years of gap, mean of a rusul of the messengers, right? So Allah is telling the people of the book there's a gap of 600 years between Nabi Isa and Nabi Muhammad. Ya ahl al kitab, O people of the book, qad jaakum rasuluna. Verily, our messenger has come to you. You bayinu lakum ala fatrati min al rusuli, expounding to you after a cessation of the messengers. And I told you there's a gap of 600 years between the Prophet Nabi Isa and Nabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And of course, we have come to the end of this program, as you see. And what we learn from here is each time Allah is trying to say. That I am the boss, the earth, everything, the firmaments, whatever is in between it, everything belongs to me. Except this Nabi, don't hide what you have in your scripture. Show it. And with this, we have come to the end of this program. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alif Lam Ra. تلك آيات الكتاب المبين إن أنزلناه قرآنا عربيا لعلكم تعقلون.